here today with Coach Cornell Gray of the Houston ISD Fur Brahmas. How you doing today, Coach? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Mr. Tony. How are you doing? I am doing good. Well, you are uh, 19 years as the head coach at uh, Fur, so uh, heading into year 20. Yes, in sir. In the first 42 years of the program, there were uh, – Three playoff appearances, and in the yes. 19 years since uh, you've been the head coach, there have been uh, 10 playoff appearances. Yes, sir. Uh, so just kind of talk about, I know it's 20 years ago or 23 years ago when you were as assistant coach. Um, a lot has changed <laughs> since you started coaching. Um, yes, sir. Both, uh, overall. So it's <clears throat> kind of uh, – uh, highlight a few of the big differences um, in coaching football over that span of, of time. Um, it's a lot. You know, demographics have changed quite a bit. Te technology's changed quite a bit. Um, you know, just the the day-to-day -day operations have changed um, a lot. And, of course, in the inner city, it can be uh, a little challenging, but um, – we make it work. We make it work. You know, it went from one point when I first started, we were driving um, the VHS tapes for Coaches Exchange, you know, meeting up. <laughs> and now, you know, you just hit a click and there you go. Now, uh, in the past few years, but well, you can look down right across town to, to Houston Lamar to see uh, – big city school district with a successful football team. But in the past several years, teams like Austin LBJ and, of oh, course, yeah. last year, um, South Oak Cliff have yes, had sir. a lot of success. So yes, sir. what does the success of programs like that that aren't Houston ISD but might come from some of the same background that your kids have experienced mean to a program like yours? Uh, it means a lot. Um both Coach Feener and Coach Todd have done a great job with those programs. Um, <clears throat> the, I believe the number one thing that helps is that most of those kids stay at home. You know, they don't go to the, the next door neighbor school or the so-called suburban school. They stay at home and then they give their opportunity. They give their, they give their home team an opportunity to be successful without, you know, you know, having to – uh, so-called recruit kids or just, you know, losing them to actually, you know, the the next door school. So, it, I mean, it gives me hope, you know. <clears throat> of course, you got to have that group, you know, you, it is, it's going to be – you got to have a lot of pieces to make it work. So, I, I believe by those kids staying at home shows that if you stay at home, you have opportunity to be successful. Yeah. And uh, we spoke briefly last year before, before our game or maybe it was African, about choosing the correct opponents in your uh, non-district schedule to get you ready oh, yeah. uh, for who you're going to play in that first round of playoffs, which is going to be one of those suburban schools. Yep, yep. Yeah, <clears throat> so I, I, try to, I try to at least give us two or three games, you know, definitely two that – that, yeah, we're going to see those type of opponents. Like the game that we were, that we spoke at, we were playing Anahuac, and I believe Anahuac went three rounds deep. And uh, you want to see that type of competition early on because, you know, that's what you that's what you're going to get. You know, if you if if you want to go to the playoffs and succeed, you have to play those non district games that are going to pre prepare you. Definitely, you know, you think you're going to have a run. So, yeah, you 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 have to line those teams up so you can see where you are. Now, you're not a good example of what I'm trying to illustrate, which is the uh, how much coaches move around. <laughs> I'm sure your assistant coaches, though, are more of an example of that. Uh, I'm sure you don't have the same group of coaches you had 20 years ago. No, um, no, sir. And <laughs> part, part of being a, a head coach isn't just coaching the kids. It's coaching the coaches. It's preparing those coaches. Yes. For their next step in, in their journey. Yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> this sounds funny, but one of my one of my deals as a head coach is 
to prepare my guys to leave. I and I and I say this not in a mean way, but I don't want them to be stuck. Like I could have left anytime I wanted to, you know, but um I want them to have an opportunity to go coach at the bigger schools and experience, you know, Friday night lights at, at a six A and at a large five A program, so, you know, to so they can grow and become head coaches themselves. Um, one of my one, I actually I have two guys. They were both my defensive coordinators. They both coach at Bridgeland High School right now. Um, I have one guy that used to coach with me. He's at C. King High School right now. Uh, so I actually have one that's um, he worked out for us. He used to be my. 707 coach in the summertime and um he just kind of didn't know what what he wanted to do with himself but he's actually coaching with the jets right now so yeah i just try to make sure that uh i help these guys out so they can become you know successful coaches themselves all right now let's talk about uh what you got coming back for uh 2022 i think i have a good group <laughs> we're um we're going to be very experienced, uh, pretty much all across the board, offense and defense. Uh, I have a good D-line coming back. I have a, a great running back, uh, an exceptional quarterback, which has about, you know, five or six offers right now. And um, I, think we'll, I think we'll be solid. Um, I, I, I think we'll have an opportunity to get back in the playoffs. And just um, – we're just trying to find a way to, to get past that first round, <laughs> you know. But we should be pretty good. Well, one of the one of the keys to doing that is your success in district, finishing first or second. So you're playing a third or fourth place team, right? In in, in that, and uh, so what? When you talk to your kids, what is your focus in terms of that? And do you talk about the playoffs and and that or? Do you not talk about that? Talk strictly about X's and O's. Well, this group we talk we we talk about winning first play first round game. We we really do. These kids, uh, they've been to playoffs every year since they've been there. Uh, this senior this senior class, a lot of them play varsity as freshmen, and so they've been to the playoffs. The, the, this will be their fourth consecutive year if we make it. So our, our number one deal is to win the first round game. So we're trying to, you know, limit the mental mistakes and try to continue to get bigger and stronger and just that's what we're operating on right now. Try to get in the playoffs and let's win a first round game and try to keep it moving. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds grossly oversimplified, but just about every game that the winner is the one that makes the least mistakes. Yes. Yes. And that's what, that's what we're working on. We, you know, in the off season, we're just trying to make sure, you know, we do all the little things right. If we're supposed to wear red tops and black black bottoms, that's what we want. If we're supposed to have black socks on, that's what we want. We don't we, we're trying to do all the little things correct so we can be successful moving forward. Right. It's a, that a, attention to detail and not having to be prompt to do that that some people might not understand. That's teaching you to attend to the details. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it, attention to detail. And, you know, we we preach that all the time. So that's, that's I mean, that's one of the keys to being successful, the small things. And um, that's what we're working on. I remember who it says, uh, who said, when you look at all the small things, you realize there aren't any small things. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, Coach, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for your time today, and uh, best yep. of luck with the 2022 season. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Hopefully you can come back out and meet me on the field and try to find one of those fur high football games. I definitely will try to do so. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you.